Jaden Sancho was born on March 25, 2000, in Camberwell, London. He is widely regarded as one of the most exciting young talents in world football, known for his exceptional skill, pace and creativity. Sancho is known for his exceptional dribbling, ability, close ball control and flair on the wing. His vision and passing make him a potent playmaker, and he has a knack for scoring crucial goals. His versatility allows him to play on either wing, providing flexibility to his team's attack, and since a child, he has always been regarded as an insanely talented football player who would have the world at his feet. Let's see how this young boy from South London managed to make a name for himself in the world of football and become one of the most talked about footballers in the world. Sancho's passion for football developed at a young age, and he joined Watford's Youth Academy when he was just seven years old. Sancho, at an early age, had to leave his family in order to play for Watford as they put him up in a boarding school. At this time, Sancho found it hard, and this would really affect his game. He once said in an interview that he had a wake-up call in year eight when someone came up to him and told him that if he doesn't fix his attitude, he would be released. He said, after that, he began to use his manners and started to conduct himself in a more professional manner. His talent quickly caught the attention of many scouts across the country, leading to his move to one of the greatest academies in the world, Manchester City Academy. In 2015, at the age of 14, he set his sights on Man City and began his professional football journey. Sancho's time at Man City Academy was pivotal in his development. He was playing alongside other incredibly talented youngsters like Phil Foden. He showcased his skills in various youth competitions and earned himself a spot in the England Under-17 squad for the 2017 UEFA Europa Under-17 Championship. However, despite his potential, he found first-team opportunities limited at City. Maybe this was because of his attitude. Recently, a video surfaced of Sancho being subbed off in which he was visibly sulking. Yet again, another instance of his attitude getting in the way of his football. This would show later in football too. In 2017, Sancho made a bold decision to leave Man United and join Borussia Dortmund in the Bundesliga. A very different route for someone like Sancho to take. This type of transfer is very courageous. This could make or break a player in the early stages of career. It's especially courageous considering how young he is. However, this move proved to be a masterstroke for his career. Sancho quickly adapted to the German style of football and flourished in Dortmund's first team. He became a key player for the club and linked up perfectly with Erling Haaland to create an insane front line with him, contributing both goals and assists with his electrifying performances and really making a name for himself in world football. The 2018-19 season was a breakthrough for Sancho. He finished the campaign with 12 goals and 17 assists in the Bundesliga, establishing himself as one of the hottest prospects in European football. His performances earned him the Bundesliga Player of the Month award, and a place in the PFA Young Player of the Year shortlist. It was obvious that all clubs were going to want to sign one of the hottest prospects in Europe. In the beginning, it was Chelsea, Liverpool and Man United that were all at the front of the race. But in the end, it was Man United that ended up getting the signature. In the summer of 2021, Jadon Sancho made a high-profile move to Man United for 85 million euros. The transfer was a testament to his rising status in the football world and he joined the Red Devils with high expectations. It seemed like a perfect move for them. With Sancho hungry to continue his path to becoming a world-class winger, and with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer eager to climb up the Premier League, they got to work. But since signing for United, it seemed to all go downhill for him from there. He didn't receive a full 90 minutes of football until November, and it was a terrible start to the club that he'd had. The start to his dream move was terrible. He only managed a tiny five goals and three assists in 38 games for Man United. 
massively underperforming for Man United in that first season. However, it wasn't entirely Jaden's fault, as Man United were in a very strange spot. United had just signed Ronaldo, and the entire system went to shambles, as Sancho was overshadowed. Then, soon after, Solskjaer got sacked. After being victim to heavy managerial changes, it was so hard for Sancho to find his feet and play well. When Ten Hag came in, people thought Sancho was going to be at the front of his plans. However, what really happened wasn't that. It seemed like Sancho wasn't even allowed to be in his plans and was not involved at all. It would often be left out the squad and treated unfairly. In his second season, he got 7 goals and 3 assists in 41 games. It went from bad to worse for Sancho, as after this season, he was left out the England squad for the World Cup in Qatar. Now, after all this, when Sancho returned to Man United for the 23-24 season, things were terrible for him in the situation. He'd only received three appearances in this season, until he had a falling out with Eric Ten Hag. This was because Sancho accused him of lying, and Ten Hag said Sancho did not perform well enough in training and games to be selected. With Sancho feeling like he had been shut out of the Man United squad, things got very sour for them. Sancho deleted all Instagram posts and went completely silent. Whilst not training with the team, it was a battle between Sancho and Ten Hag, and some people thought Sancho was just throwing his dummy out of the pan whilst other people thought Ten Hag was being unfair and does not know how to treat his players in situations like this. This led to his return to Germany. Sancho and the club reached an agreement to let him go out on loan. Obviously the club of his choice was back where he knows he can be good, Borussia Dortmund, and since going back he's already found himself with an assist in his first game. Sancho now seems to be a lot more happy, and hopefully, he can find his feet again and begin to play with the form that he used to. And he can build and have his confidence back up to how we used to see him play when he was smashing it in the Bundesliga. Sancho is a brilliant player, and has all the fundamentals to come back and be a world-class winger. He still is only young. If he joins the right club in summer, I think we can see him flourish in the correct team. I think Sancho joined Man United at the wrong time. It was early for him. I think it would be better if we saw Sancho join a team like Brighton or Brentford or even West Ham. If he joined a team like this, he'll be able to get more involved in the play and be more confident. And this is how we will be able to see the best out of Sancho. What do you want to see Sancho do? Do you want to see him stay at Dortmund for a few years? Or do you want to see him back in the Premier League in a different setup under a different manager than Ten Hag? Let me know. But for now, that's all I got. And I'll see you in the next video.